They're called the Beethovens and they are from Wirral. They play at festivals all around the country and have even won Liverpool's Battle of the Bands. So, what's so special about them? Well, all but one of the members is autistic. Annabel Tiffin has been to meet them. These are the Beethovens, a Wirral-based rock group that has appeared on the same bill as Jules Holland and Bob Geldof. They've played in festivals all over the country, and all but one of the members is autistic. How are the Beethovens going live? The band rehearses every week in a church in Bromborough Pool as part of the Wirral Autistic Society. Today, they're rehearsing for their latest gig. And that gig is at Bumper in Liverpool, where two years ago they beat 200 other groups to win Liverpool Battle of the Bands. I think that if you say to somebody, oh, there's this band, they're incredible, they, they, uh, they, they've all got autism, like people just, people just like, oh yeah, great, brilliant, you know what I mean, that, that sounds really good. And I think that they might have this image of like, a group of people like banging it away on drums and sort of it. But when people see us live and like, they're really taken aback. As with all bands, each member has an integral part to play. Clayton and Vince take it in turns on drums. Amanda and Alan are on the keyboards. John is the newest member and backing singer. Paul is on bass. Ken Scott is on bongos. And Alan Jolliffe, a.k.a. AJ Cool, is the group's charismatic frontman. We have brains, we have feelings. We may not be able to show those feelings, but, you know, there are feelings like... All the emotions are heightened when you're autistic. When Jamie set up the band, some doubted it could work. Could people with autism really come together and play as a group? People with autism classically are thought of people who have an impairment in relating to people, um, communicating. And that's, that's really what music is. Because once people start playing music, together and start having fun doing it, that's when the magic really starts to happen. I can't actually find the words really, because it is so fantastic, really, so... What does it bring to your life, being here? It's the highlight of my week. It means everything because it's the first time I've actually felt part of something and ready to embrace a new, a new way of life. Next time on The Beethovens, how the Wirral Autistic Society is leading the way in music therapy. Oh, good. The Wirral Autistic Society. They believe music is the key to helping people with one of their biggest challenges, communication. Annabel Tiffin reports. It's been a hard day. When he's not playing lead guitar in the Beethovens, Jamie runs these groundbreaking group music therapy sessions. More than half a million people have autism or Asperger's in the UK, and here they believe music can help them with their biggest challenge, interacting. One of the things that we use is an echo on the microphone, because what we found is that when people hear their own sounds, they really respond to that and it kind of brings them out and they kind of start to listen what's go what's like going on. Music is quite often, you know, the last thing that people prioritise, but it really, in my opinion, it, it like should be the first thing because we see the power of it every day here. Jamie has now taken his music therapy across the Mersey and helped to set up the Mossley Hill Music Makers, a group for young people with autism and their brothers and sisters. For many, it's their only opportunity to play an instrument. He loves coming to the music group because they can have a go on any instrument they like. You can see how confident he is when he plays the instruments and stuff and it really comes out. 11-year-old Liam comes here every week with his autistic sister, Megan. He believes so strongly that music can help, he's even written a song about her. My big sister watches the sun arrive every single day. She enjoys listening to my, mu my music and smiles and laughs. The song is about what I feel prou proud of Megan and the way she smiles and the way she makes me feel when I'm sad. 
you can communicate with the drum. It doesn't rely on words or, or, or even facial expressions. You can communicate with an instrument and, and just be a part of what's going on, not be on the outside and excluded, which is the experience so often for our children. time on the Beethovens, it's backing singer John's first gig. I, I am so nervous, it is unbelievable. Go, guys! Holland, believe it or not, but for backing singer John Carson, it's all new. Annabelle Tiffin went to meet him as he prepares for his very first gig. Last minute rehearsals before tonight's big gig in Liverpool. The Beethovens have performed regularly at festivals and appeared on the same bill as Jules Holland. But for one member, this is all a bit new. John Carlson is the Beethoven's newest member. He's more used to Pratt and Gregorian chants. So with just a few hours before his first gig, how will he find performing with a rock band? I am so nervous, it is unbelievable. I've got to iron my shirt because I haven't even done that yet. And then I have a shower. I've got to wash my hair three times. And why do you wash your hair three times? Uh, that's the Asperger's in me. <laughs> at last, it's time for the gig at Bumper, the venue where the band won Liverpool's Battle of the Bands two years ago. OK, great. Yeah, Let, let's go. And for John, it's the moment of truth. OK, let's party. Me, myself and I. See John and see AJ and Ken and everyone really performing and it is a real powerful way and a positive thing for people to see. A side of autism that they maybe wouldn't expect. Absolutely awesome. Precious talents who were absolutely brilliant tonight. They're just a great band and that's the bottom line. The gig's over, and it's been a success for John and all the Beethovens. Oh, that was absolutely fantastic. How does it make you feel now you've done the performance? Makes me feel like a megastar. So I've had four girls ask my number, and they're all <laughs> random, random girls. I don't see the fact that I can't um, communicate with anyone because I communicate with absolutely everyone when you're on stage. Just shows you that it doesn't matter if you've got a disability or not, you can still follow your dreams and stuff, which is fantastic. Thank you very much, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Cheers, thanks a lot, thanks for coming, great to see you. Oh, I never had their groupies.